Are there issues at Manchester United that are going to cause them problems this season yeah. or do you think that's a, that's a one-off or is it a, a, an indication no. of the problems? There are issues because the performances are nowhere near good enough and I said this a few weeks ago that at the moment where they started to play half decent teams they're going to struggle so Everton are a half decent team, Villa are a half decent team, Villarreal are a half decent team, a good team and um, today Leicester are a half decent team, good team. As soon as you, you when you play that the, the performances have been so shoddy all season in terms of team performances. There have been some good results, been some great goals, but the overall performance, the units in and out of possession are shoddy. It is, it is scrap, scrappy and scruffy to watch. So when you play against a team that's got an organisation to them and a methodology, you're going to get pulled apart. And that's what's happening. They're getting pulled apart by Everton, pulled apart by Villa, pulled apart by Villarreal. And we've seen a team that's been picked today with Greenwood, Sancho, Ronaldo, Pogba and Fernandez in five of them I wouldn't want to be a defender in that team you know I love them as players those five but having them all in the same team um, and ultimately not enough workhorses there's a reason that Darren Fletcher and John O'Shea and Gary Neville and Nicky Butt and Tom Cleverley and players like that over the years got a game at Manchester United at Sung Park Owen Hargreaves got games alongside some of the great players because we need, need workhorses alongside them and Manchester United at this moment in time are imbalanced and the performances are now getting what they deserve in terms of the results and it needs to change. Obviously, the performances need to be a lot better. And today was no surprise. Um, I think the performances over the season haven't been good enough, even when they've been winning against Newcastle and everyone got carried away. It wasn't very good that day. Look, I know you're going to go into the specifics of this <laughs> on Monday night. You'll have time to dissect this at length and at your leisure. Before that, Manchester United need to, to go into training and there, there are issues that they need to fix because when you look at their next six fixtures, oh. they're playing five of the artists formerly known as the Big Six teams. Oh, we know. We know. I mean, that's the problem. They know, what we, we, they know what's coming. And so when I say half-decent teams like Leicester, Villa and Everton, they're now going to play against some, like, best teams in the world. You know, next Sunday they're going to play Liverpool, who are one of the best teams in the world. They're going to play City the week after. They're going to play, is it Tottenham and then away, I think, as well, mm -hmm. in between that. Uh, yeah, so they're playing against proper teams now and look those players could rise in those games but that's not a good start today um, didn't are, you, look are you saying it's an off the balls kind of issue then they're, they're nowhere near good enough off the, out of possession out of possession they're nowhere near good enough I mean they're the weakest of all the teams at the top of the league without a shadow of a doubt with that, in, in terms of sort of their general pressing from the position you know they don't press they don't really you know you look at Chelsea's resilience today Manchester United would have folded uh, under that last 15, 20 minutes. City would, to be fair, have probably kept the ball and got, gone about it that way. And I think Liverpool have got something about them with Van Dijk. And well, we some... saw what Liverpool would do yeah. against Brentford, which was yeah. the, the three-all draw that yeah. they, and, they and had. And go it. punch for punch mm. and, you know, and score more goals. They'll try and score more goals than them. So I think that you definitely... Manchester United without the ball are not good enough. Um, they've got this real conundrum with Pogba Fernandes, this real now conundrum with Ronaldo Cavani, conundrum with Greenwood, Rashford, Sancho, and you've got all these talented players into a unit out of possession, and those players' strengths aren't out of possession, they're in possession. The great players are able to do it in both ways, but those players are really biased towards the sort of what would be attacking side of the game. They just, they just are. You know if you say Manchester United need four or five players, Carol's no, going to be listening. No, they don't. No, they don't. What they need is, to be fair, what they need, those players, is to have the work ethic of Bernardo Silva and Kevin De Bruyne and Mane and players who are world-class players who, to be fair, work like absolute dogs every single game. And I don't see that out of possession in Manchester United, some of Manchester United's talented players. You know, when I look at some of Manchester United's players that I've named in that team today, they don't work as hard as Mane, they don't work as hard as Firmino, they don't work as hard as De Bruyne and Bernardo Silva. So, better player and works harder means you're not going to finish higher than them. Simple as that. So, you better start getting working hard, as hard as they do. Let's take a look at those fixtures that we mentioned that are coming up for, for Manchester United. And Watford are, are in there, but it is all Liverpool, Tottenham, Manchester City, Chelsea and Arsenal. Is the pressure going to build at the club on the players, on the manager? Yeah, 100%. The, play, the pressure will build on the manager, the pressure will build on the players. They won't do anything with the manager. Um, I think that ultimately, I think the club are stable in that respect of what's happened in the last 10 years. I think they recognise that they're going to go through these moments. They are integrating Varane, Sancho, Cristiano Ronaldo, and I think they'll see it through. But there is massive pressure. It's not, not coming, by the way, it's here. It's here. It was here before the international break. It's even more so today. Um, and it's not going to go away, that. It should be there. It's Manchester United and they've spent a fortune and they've got some of the best players in the world.